Uh, good morning. Uh, today we'll be demonstrating uh, insertion of a titanium tandem and ring applicator. What we use is the Eckert and Ziegler Baybig formerly MIG radio nuclear instruments titanium ring and tandem applicator. It comes in a variety of uh, angles and sizes. It comes in two, four, and six centimeter length intrauterine tandems, as well as 30, 45, and 60 degree angles. To assemble the applicator, first you select which intrauterine tandem size and length you will use. In this example, we will select a 45 degree, 6 centimeter intrauterine tandem. You can see it has this notch over here, as well as a post for which the uh, tandem, the ring will slide over and then screw onto. If you're selecting a 45 degree angle tandem, you use a matching 45 degree angle ring verify that it's the correct uh, angle as well. To assemble the applicator, first you select which build-up cap you use. This comes with five and seven and a half millimeter build-up caps. This is a seven and a half millimeter build-up cap. You place the build-up cap onto the surgical table, place the ring snugly into the build-up cap, and then screw the ring on top. This would be a fully assembled 45-degree uh, ring. After placement of the intrauterine tandem into the patient, to place the ring, the ring is slid over the intrauterine tandem and then rotated into place, advanced forward on the intrauterine tandem, and then locked together using the side screw. This is a fully assembled, now rigid, tandem and ring. This comes with an optional rectal retractor. To use the rectal retractor, it's slid over the assembled ring and tandem applicator. There is another side screw that can be rotated and locked into place. And the angle of retraction is adjusted using the bottom screw. This would be a fully assembled titanium ring tandem applicator. Um, this will be a demonstration of uh, placement of a titanium intrauterine uh, ring and tandem applicator for the treatment of cervical cancer. Uh, we use the Eckert and Ziegler Baybig former MIC Radio Nuclear Instruments titanium ring and tandem applicator set. We also use a lattice uh, vaginal balloon packing in lieu of traditional uh, gauze packing. Uh, Initially, we've already selected uh, the intrauterine tandem length that we'd like to use. The kit comes in two, four, and six centimeters. We like to use the longest tandem that we have available. Uh, after an exam under anesthesia, what I like to do initially is to assemble the matching ring that I had planned to use. To assemble the ring, we'll use uh, first uh, uh, selecting the appropriate size buildup cap. It comes in five and then seven and a half millimeters. This is the five millimeter cap. We attempt to use the largest buildup cap that we can comfortably fit inside the patient. We'll plan to use a 60 degree uh, tandem angle, and therefore we, s we select the matching 60 degree ring that we use. To assemble the ring, first we place the titanium applicator and a little bit of surgical jelly. This allows us to see the ring on T2 weighted MRI for MR based brachytherapy planning. The ring is placed flat into the buildup cap and then the top is screwed on until it is flush. So this would be a fully assembled 60 degree uh, titanium ring with a five millimeter buildup cap. I like to use vaginal balloon packing and a method that I like to use is to attach all of the balloon packing to the ring first, such that they don't have to be placed after the insertion. So what I like to do is I take a small tegaderm. We first put one of the balloon packing pieces with the stopcock pointing down onto the tegaderm and then we place the ring directly onto the packing. 
Then we take the tegaderm and then we attach that to the ring. Now that the now the ring, uh, as well as one of the packing balloons, is firmly on there. So we'll know exactly the position of the balloon packing when we insert it. We repeat this with the other balloon as well. So we take another small tegaderm, place the balloon packing down, place the ring right on it, and then attach the tegaderm. We make sure that the balloon packing is not advanced significantly past the ring, otherwise that will put target, push target tissue away. And then finally, the tegaderms are removed. So this would be a fully assembled ring applicator with the balloon packing already attached in place. We've opted to use a 60 degree titanium ring that's six centimeters long. So we can verify that it is 60 degree by six centimeters. Three ring cap. To start the insertion procedure, first we take a speculum and we identify the cervical os. After the external cervical os is identified, we then place the intrauterine tandem. In our practice, we prefer to use Smith sleeves, so we identify the Smith sleeve and place the intrauterine tandem directly in, and then rotate into place. You can either remove the speculum over the uh, intrauterine tandem, or you can break the speculum apart, whichever you prefer. In this method, we'll just remove it over. So now the intrauterine tandem is in place. Make sure to keep forward pressure on the tandem so it doesn't come out. Taking the ring, we place a little bit of surgical jelly onto the ring, and then we insert the ring over the intrauterine tandem, ensuring that the intrauterine tandem is still straight and pointing upright, and this is in the correct position. We start by inserting the ring at an angle, over the intrauterine tandem and then we advance the, the ring in place with the balloons. We separate the labia gently to allow passage of the ring and then we rotate the ring applicator in place and then slide it forward. Once it's slid forward into the patient we can lock the side screw. We ensure that the titanium tooth is attached to the intrauterine tandem and our balloons are straight and not rotated and in the correct position. Now that we've verified the balloons are in the uh, correct position, the side screw is locked and the applicator is upright uh, and in the correct position, we begin filling our packing balloons. The vendor has recommendations in terms of optimal filling. We start with the posterior balloon first. I tend to start with about 20 cc's initially. In the posterior balloon, and then I add about 20 cc's in the anterior balloon. You'll start to feel some resistance at this point. You continue to verify that your balloons are in the correct position and not rotated or have moved around relative to the patient. We complete the procedure by filling the posterior balloon to the desired filling level. Following this, we attach the balloons to the ring applicator, ensure everything is in the correct position. We verify the applicator is built correctly, that it is rigid and does not move, and this would be the completion of the procedure.